Hey, good evening, everybody. It is Monday, July 10th. Eastern Time, that's Walt Disney World Time. Welcome to DisneyWays.com on Facebook Live. We are here to bring you Disney dreams, hints, secrets, and more from the heart of the magic. I am your host and founder of DisneyWays.com, born, raised, and still living right here in Orlando, Florida. Um, and we have so much for you tonight as, uh, let me just give you some examples here. So here's what we got going on. Uh, my name is Krista Joy, and tonight we have a three-course meal on Disney property for just $35. That's right. I'm going to give you the secret, the secret to how you can enjoy that. Not one, not two, but three new dining experiences you can book for Disney for New Year's Eve beginning tomorrow. Our World Secret segment tonight will be about the Duffy the Disney Bear book that's on property. And I think that this will be new to a lot of people. I talked to the locals and even they don't know about this one. So I'm excited to show you a video of that. And plus, of course, one lucky viewer tonight will win a DVD from ThemeParkology.com and another lucky viewer tonight will win a DVD or a um, Disney prize pack from BigEarsAdventures.com we're going to have a little sing-along at the end of the show, too. Speaking of BigEarsAdventures.com, tonight's episode of Disney Ways on Facebook Live is sponsored in part by BigEarsAdventures.com. You can ask them about your free memory maker photo package and tell them Disney Ways on Facebook Live sent you. Uh, for now, though, would you share the video for me? I would really appreciate it. I need your help to get the word out. So excited to see so many beautiful faces popping in here. We've got Jeff, Megan, Stephanie. Hello, guys! So, so happy to be here with you tonight. I uh, appreciate y'all sharing the video. I am counting on you. I am finding that the Disney um, fan groups are not wanting me to post anything about my show, my show in their groups. So it's different than the Elvis community where everybody's happy to, you know, be, you know, have you share your stuff. I'm really hitting a lot of roadblocks here at the Disney community. So I'm going to be relying heavily on you guys to hit the share button for me, maybe a couple times a week and let people know that I'm doing these videos and hoping to get uh, some secrets out to everybody from an Orlando native's perspective. I think what we're doing here is great and I would love to spread the word and I can't do it without your help. So thank you all so much um, for hitting the share button for me. So tonight I thought we'd kick it off with our first big news item. Disney's Contemporary Resort is offering three New Year's Eve experience for guests visiting Walt Disney World during the holiday period. Now, why is this important? Because reservations open tomorrow, July 11th, for three ways to ring in the new year, again, at Disney's Contemporary. So I'm going to give you all the details on these three events. Um, and then also, I want to tell you why I think this is really cool and a really big deal. So... For those of you that don't know, New Year's Eve is one of the absolute busiest times of year. And as a, as a local, you wouldn't find me anywhere near Disney World on that night. However, if you've got something booked like this, something cool that's just special and different that they don't do all the time, um, if you're coming to Disney property, this is a great reason um, to do it this time of year. And you can still feel like you're on property and enjoy the Disney magic, but you won't be in the hustle and bustle of the crowds. You won't be standing in line for anything. So that's what I love about this. And I did write up a full article on DisneyWays.com so you can get the details and everything. But I thought it would be fun to share some of this with you tonight. Um, so the first event that they're talking about, and by the way, you can book all of these by calling 407-WDW-DINE tomorrow, or if you've already got a vacation booked, why not call Megan and Jeff at Big, Big Years Adventures and have them help you with this. Um, but first off, Disney's Countdown to Midnight. This one includes dining, live music, libations, and more. They've got an interactive band and DJ that's going to fill the dance floor along with an appearance by Mickey and Minnie. So you can welcome in 2018 with a flute of bubbly and a viewing of the New Year's Eve fireworks in Magic Kingdom. Hours are 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. in the Fantasia Ballroom. Remember, these are all at the Contemporary Resort. And this party is designed for guests 18 years and older. So how about that? Not just a New Year's Eve party, but a New Year's Eve party for grown-ups at Disney. I love this idea of Disney World. So Kim Orvis is here, my girlfriend from Disneyland. Kim, if you've heard about any any fun um, New Year's Eve events at Disneyland, definitely type them in the comments. Let everybody know. 
Um, so the next thing they're offering in the Contemporary Resort this year is the Pixar Party, which is a New Year's Eve celebration for children of all ages. This is going to be a family-friendly way to ring in the new year with Disney Pixar-inspired dinner. Sarge welcomes you to the Ballroom of the Americas that features um, vignettes of beloved Pixar movies from Andy's Room and Toy Story and Metro City with The Incredibles. The immersive celebration will include theatrical backdrops, dramatic set pieces, and fun props that recreate the worlds of Pixar films. Favorite characters will be on hand from Toy Story, The Incredibles, Cars, and Up. Kids can have fun at Pixar face painting, a balloon artist, and a boot camp with Sarge while an interactive DJ spins hits from Radio Disney. And dinner is buffet style. At midnight, if you can keep the kids awake, um, you can head outdoors to ring in the new year with a viewing of the Magic Kingdom fireworks. The hours on this party are 8 p.m. to 12.15 a.m. So pretty cool. And Beth's here. Hi, Beth. Thanks for joining us for this Disney party tonight. And Kim says she hasn't heard about New Year's Eve yet. They just released the Halloween party tickets at Disneyland. So that's good. Good to know. If you're going to uh, be in that area for a Halloween party, definitely look into that. And then Pam's here tonight. Hey, Pam. Thanks for joining us. So I don't know if you guys talked heard about this already. Um, they are having three different celebrations at Disney's Contemporary for the New Year's, um, New Year's Eve. Eve celebration and uh, we're just going through all those because as of tomorrow it's crazy to think you can book these already and they probably will sell out but as of tomorrow you can book these so the third one is called down in New Orleans a Disney U New Year's Eve dining experience fine dining is the theme of the third party down in New Orleans a Disney New Year's Eve dining experience in the Grand Republic Ballroom again all these are at the Contemporary Resort Inspired by the Disney animated film, The Princess and the Frog, the room is beautifully decorated French Quarter style to transport you to the Big Easy. Action stations will feature flavors such as oyster beignets, smoked salmon mousse cones with caviar, Kobe beef, tartare, and sheep's milk ricotta gnocchi. Signature dishes will include herb crusted Louisiana redfish, crayfish etouffee, Black Angus beef cooked two ways, braised short ribs, and filet of beef with truffled celery root silk. A New Orleans band will entertain during during dinner, joined later by the in the evening by a vocalist who will bring to life the Academy Award winning classics from the film The Princess and the Frog. And then you can sip outside with a glass of bubbly just before midnight to ring in 2018 with a private viewing area for the Magic Kingdom fireworks. Hours on this party are 7 p.m. to 12, 15 a.m. So there's three fun choices that you have to check out uh, Disney's Contemporary Resort and party with them for the new year. So it sounds like a ton of fun. Um, and Marsha Butler's with us. Yay! Hi, Marsha. Thanks for tuning in tonight uh, for the Disney news. We're having lots of fun talking about New Year's Eve, which feels so far away, but it's it's really not exciting to know that you can book something at Disney for New Year's Eve already. So if you guys would for me, I know we have some new people in here. If you would for me, just hit the share button. Share this live broadcast tonight. Let everybody know you're getting your Disney news and secrets from DisneyWays.com on Facebook Live. I would really appreciate it. Uh, Peter Gould is in the wrong place. He thought tonight's show was the Elvis show. You're so funny. I know you're just kidding. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow is the Elvis show. <laughs> All right, so that is the story about the uh, the New Year's Eve celebrations. Now, this part's really, really fun. I really like this because it kind of combined the Disney secrets and the news segment of the show. Um, super excited to reveal to you that you can actually get a three-course meal on Disney property for $35. Yes, it's true. It's been kind of a local secret for a long time. We have something in Orlando, and anybody can do this. You don't have to live here. You just have to be visiting or whatever in Orlando. Um, we have something called Magical Dining, and everybody looks forward to it. And in years past, it's been really cool. 
And basically, uh, what it is, it's $35 a person, and you can go to these select restaurants. There's tons of them. And these restaurants have actually put together special menus for what they call magical dining. And for $35, you can, you can pick from a list of um, appetizers, pick from a list of entrees, and pick from a list of desserts. So you get a three-course meal for your $35. And what's really, really special and everybody's excited about is that this year, an unprecedented number of Disney restaurants are participating in magical dining. Several of them, Disney owned and operated. And we're talking Turf Club over at Saratoga Springs. Uh, Boat Rights Dining Hall, which is so, so famous. It's such a big deal. You can go there and check out the Amphicars and enjoy the scenery. They're offering the magical dining. Grand Floridian Cafe, Gico, Olivia's Cafe, The Wave of American Flavors, and so many more. I put the full list of all the Disney restaurants on the uh, website, DisneyWays.com. But again, available to anyone no matter where you live, Magical Dining Month begins August 25th during a special preview week and continues through October 1st. So we're giving you a heads up so you can plan ahead and go and save up your money or whatever you need to do so you can go do this. It's over 100 Orlando area restaurants that will be offering prefix dinners for just $35. And as a reminder, what do you get for your $35? A three course dinner that again, includes a choice of an appetizer, entree and dessert, from the restaurants, visit Orlando's Magical Dining Month menu. Tax and gratuity is not included. There's always a catch, right? So that's the catch. One dollar from each meal will benefit Freedom Ride and Base Camp Children's Cancer Foundation. So that's the cool thing. When you um, when you go in and you order from the Magical Dining uh, menu, a dollar of your $35 is going to go to charity. So that is even a better deal really really great so here's how you take advantage of it I, I see you guys putting that's a great deal that's exciting I know right it's super exciting and anybody can do this and if you're a travel agent like Megan what a cool thing that you can kind of tell your uh, your clients and your guests this little secret like if they didn't get the dining plan or whatever here's a little tip for you look into magical dining We've got links and details for you at DisneyWays.com. So here's how you do it. To participate in the magical dining, all you do is go to the restaurants and uh, you go to that menu page to select your favorite restaurant, then click on the restaurant's online reservation button. While most of these restaurants offer online reservations, if they do not, then you can call the restaurant directly. Advanced reservations are encouraged as some will fill up quickly. You can also arrive at the restaurant as a walk-in guest or with advanced reservations. Then simply ask your server for the Visit Orlando's Magical Dining Month menu. No vouchers, coupons, or flyers are needed, which is great news for me because I never have that stuff with me when I need it. Um, and as a reminder, this program is available every night from August 25th to October 1st during the restaurant's normal dinner hours, whichever restaurant you choose to go to. Call them directly for days and hours of operation if you would like. Again, a full list of the Disney restaurants are posted at DisneyWays.com and include all of those that we've already mentioned, plus Paddlefish, even Ravello at the Four Seasons Resort Orlando. So exciting. You guys, going to the Four Seasons alone, is, a, is that in itself is just a trip and a day that you should take. If you're anywhere near Disney property, go visit the Four Seasons Resort. It's beautiful and gorgeous. And while you're there, you can get a $35 three-course meal at their beautiful restaurant, Ravello. Um, so what's not to like? Super exciting, right? And I'm so glad that you guys tuned in tonight so you can get the inside scoop on this. Carol Williams is here. Hi! So happy to see you. Thanks for coming to the Disney show tonight. We're talking about magical dining and New Year's Eve. So that's been a lot of fun. And if you guys would for me, uh, please hit the share button. Let everybody know about magical dining and that you are getting your Disney news from DisneyWaste.com on Facebook Live tonight. I'm so thrilled to be here with you. Next up, the next portion of our show, uh, we're going to talk about this fun little world secret that so many people still don't know about and um, it's been a while since I visited this in person so if any of you guys know about this and have been lately let me know um, but in the meantime I thought I would share this video that I got for you 
Um, what it is, if, if you're not familiar, so Mickey Mouse has a teddy bear and his name is Duffy. And uh, one of the kid activities that they have around Epcot, they're called Kid Cot Fun Stops. They're a place where you can stop and color um, a Duffy or a, a platypus or you know stuff like that. Get get the uh, person from each country to to sign your name and their language. This is a free thing that you can do. The Kid Cot Fun Stops. And at the Kid Cot Fun Stop, located in the American Adventure Pavilion at Epcot. You will find, if you ask for it, it's right outside um, near where all the tables are in that big hall of restrooms. They've got the Kid Cot Fun Stop there. Ask the cast members sitting there to show you the secret Duffy Bear book. Okay? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you this video so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about here because this book is really fun and really cute especially if you have a kid with you this would be a wonderful activity if it's especially if it's raining or something like that and you happen to be near the Epcot Pavilion you're gonna look like a genius if you get that kid and say let's go over to the KidCot station I have something to show you so here's a video I wanted to do this for like a year and I finally got a video of this to show you because people have no idea what I'm talking about when I share this so again so happy you're here with me tonight because you are gonna be in the know. So here is the secret Duffy the Disney Bear book at the American Adventure Pavilion. So let me go ahead and pull up the video. Here it is right on my website. Am I just closing? Yeah, so this one's Christopher Columbus, right? Then here we have George Washington. John Adams. So you get like two seconds to guess who it is. Paul Revere. Robin? Paul Revere. Okay, so what I did just for fun, like you can see, I was trying to guess who everybody was. And then as she turns the page on the back, each one has an exp explanation about who the character, the, the Duffy Bear is dressed as, who it is. So it's a really, really cool thing. It's a fun learning experience. And you can see there's there's there must be hundreds of different ones in this book. The cast members just sit and color these and design these. And I mean, I don't know. It just must have taken so long to put this book together. But they're all American heroes, American figures. So it's so fun. And you can t teach your kids or whoever's with you about, you know, these particular historical figures and it's just a fun way to do this. And this is not something Disney advertises, not something I've seen anywhere. I don't I don't remember how I discovered it, but as far as I know, it's still there and you can find it. And sometimes the cast member will look at you like, "What?" and you just tell them there is a book and I'm t and just say, "Look underneath there. Underneath there there's probably a book full of um Duffy the Disney Bear characters." And I think this girl I was talking to this day she may or may not have ever even seen it or knew about it until I told her. So I <laughs> I felt like I was showing her something new. So we had a good time. So I'm just going to play this for a couple more minutes. You can see how much fun we had guessing the characters, and you can guess along with us. John Wayne. Oh, bet you know who that is. Dorothy. Who's that? Millie Earhart? Yep. Joe Montana. Johnny, somebody, I don't follow football. Molly Brown. That's, um, this is the lady that uh, started the Girl Scouts. That's cool. Oh, yeah, started the Girl Scouts, and then this one is, I don't know who Jim Thorpe is. I'm not very good with American history. Yeah, I'm not good. Oh, Rosie Ritter. This is cool. we got to get another shot of that. That's awesome. Shirley Temple? Uh, wait, go back, let me guess. Uh, Nope, I don't know. Chief Joseph. That's Orphan Annie. Little Annie. Oh, there's Martin Luther King. Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, the glove. Love it. Uh, Jacqueline Onassis. No, wait. We must skip one. Okay. Yeah, wait, this is John Kennedy. Okay, oh, okay. I can see that. that. Makes more sense. There there's his wife. Cool, right? I see Pam is typing in. She never heard of that before. Pam um, lives even closer to Disney World than I do, and she's never heard of it. So that's good. I feel like I, I showed you guys a new secret, something fun you can do while you're in the parks, no extra cost. 
seek out that little Duffy the Disney Bear book and flip through it. It's a lot of fun. Something to do. It's something to different to do the next time you're there. So, um, super cool. Now, speaking of Disney groups, I mentioned in the beginning, I am looking. If you um, happen to um, admin a Disney group, or if you're on Facebook, or if you're friends with um, somebody that is an admin of a Disney group, I am looking for some places where I can share my shows and help get the word out about what we're doing here. So will you please reach out to me if you um, admin a Disney group or know someone that does that would like to have my videos posted. I just do a teaser before we do the show and then I do a link of the show after uh, we film it. And for some reason I'm having uh, a really hard time finding groups that will allow me to do that. So if you're enjoying the show and like to help me get the word out, uh, please let me know if you have, a, if you're an admin of a Disney group or no one. In the meantime, we have a very special video from Theme Parkology that I want to show you guys next. Jerry has come up with another brilliant idea. I don't know where he comes up with this stuff, but this is the first time I've seen the video. We're going to watch this uh, together and find out a new offering from Theme Parkology, from ThemeParkology.com. He's calling this the mystery box. So let's check it out. I love it. Okay, so I know that was kind of a quick video, but it looks to me like Jerry is launching a service that you can sign up for. I'm sure it's a nominal fee, and for a whole year, you'll get something in the mail from Theme Parkology, whether it be his um, awesome, top-selling DVDs on different um, attractions and character voices and things like that from Disney, or uh, it might be his trading cars that he has sold out of and cannot keep in stock. It could be so many different things. So go to themeparkology.com and look up uh, the brand new announcement about the new mystery boxes that Jerry is doing. And in the meantime, I want to thank Jerry because he, uh, one of you watching live tonight is going to win a Theme Parkology DVD from Jerry. So yay! Thank you, Jerry, uh, for supporting us in that way. We sure appreciate you. So um, I saw Pam said she's got a friend that runs a Disney group. Thank you so much. Yeah, let her know about me. Add me to the group and just let me know if it's okay with her if I post in there a couple times a week. I would really appreciate it. And uh, Pamela Bradshaw's here from Idaho, and she's only got 66 days until her next visit. Awesome. Congratulations. I hope it comes really fast for you, and I hope you have a fantastic trip. Definitely send me a message. Send me a Facebook message or a note. Let me know when you get here. Uh, we do um, hope to be having meetups every month, so would love to meet you in person as well. So if you get a moment, um, send me a note. And then also, this week, Big Ears Adventures launched something so big. This is exciting. Here's what Megan wrote. She said, okay, Disney friends, do you know someone or a family that deserves to go on vacation but cannot ever seem to get the funds together? Boy, do I. Well, here is your chance to help them win a Disney vacation through Big Ears Adventures Travel Agency. Uh, the contest starts today, and you can find the official details on their webpage at BigEarsAdventures.com. So go check that out. There's a little button you can hit. It's down the side. Um, and basically, it's just a form where you enter your email and your family that you're nominating and why you're nominating them. And Jeff and Megan are going to pick somebody to win a free Disney vacation. So you can't beat that. Definitely look look into that if you get a chance. Um, also, I wanted to let you know, because you know my mission, my goal, is to share with you guys Disney stuff that you may not hear about anywhere else. So the next thing I wanted to show you and let you know about is that 
December 3rd, there is going to be a Florida Disney Collector Show. Now, this is not a Disney-sponsored event. This will be put on by Disney fans for Disney fans. December 3rd, mark your calendar. The location is going to be Fantasy of Flight, which is 1400 Broadway Boulevard in Polk City, Florida. It's just $6 to get in if you're an adult, $3 for children. What can you expect at this show? Well, there are going to be speakers. There's going to be book signings. There's going to be trivia. There's going to be over 25 vendors to choose from. Um, hopefully I'll be one of them. Actually, I should be there with my little Mexico CD. And then they're also going to be doing pin trading. Um, speakers that they have confirmed so far, the incredible Ron Schneider, who if you're not familiar, Ron Schneider is, uh, was the original Dreamfinder when they opened Epcot. He used to carry a figment around and talk with figment and then Tom Nabby will be there Tom Nabby was hired by Walt himself to work at Disneyland um, in Tom Sawyer Island he has beautiful wonderful stories of Walt and then um, Tom went on to have a, a full rich history in the company he even has a window on Main Street um, I should do a video of just that we how to find Tom Nabby's window on Main Street because he is such a sweet guy um, he's so nice to me whenever I talk to him and then um, next, William Sully Sullivan. They've confirmed him also a fantastic speaker with so much rich Disney history. So do not miss the Florida Disney Collector Show on December 3rd, 2017 from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Polk City, Florida. And don't worry if you didn't get a chance to write all that down. I've got the flyer and so much more for you right now over on disneyways.com just look for the recent articles there's a menu down this the right hand side and um gonna be tons of fun i i believe i will be at that show i'm, I'm just firming things up and looking at my schedule and stuff but i hope to uh meet you there so what do you guys say and chrissy says she can't can't wait till she gets here august 6th yay i can't wait till you get here on august 6th too it's gonna be great it's gonna be really hot bring your sunblock Stay hydrated. You know the drill. Um, and Marcia says, our next visit is this weekend. So excited. We are also booked for my birthday in October and New Year's. Wow. Congratulations, Marcia. That's fantastic. This weekend, this weekend should be very, very nice as well. Um, we, as you know, because you live here, we've been getting the thunderstorms in the afternoons. It tends to cool things off. And um, there are tons and tons of things to do during the rainstorms at Disney. You just got to do a little Google search before you go if you're looking for that kind of thing. Um, excited for your birthday. What a wonderful, wonderful thing to do for your birthday. I know for me, like I, I posted a whole article about special things and ideas. Number one question I get asked is, what can we do special for my birthday or my celebration? So if you want some ideas that are a little bit outside of the box, I've got them for you. Again, just go to DisneyWays.com and type in um, special celebration and it should um, bring it up for you in the search bar. There's a little magnifying glass. Look that up. There's some fun ideas, some that don't even cost anything extra but can really make your day really special. So. Happy birthday to you in October, and uh, that'll be great. That'll be awesome. So one last time, I just wanted to ask you, if you enjoyed tonight's show, would you please just hit the share button for me? Let your friends know that you are getting your Disney news here on DisneyWays.com on Facebook Live. Our regularly scheduled show is going to be Sundays at 4 p.m. Um, tonight, I had, to, I had to do things a little different. I had a scheduling conflict. But normally, I will be here every Sunday at 4 o'clock Eastern, and so excited when you guys can log in and talk back to me, you know? Don't feel all by myself so th thank you for being here with me live and interacting with me tonight um, and go tell your friends so to recap you are now up to date you know about what you can book at the contemporary on New Year's Eve you know about how to get a $35 meal on Disney property which is so exciting just blows my mind um, and you are up to date on the super top secret Disney uh, Duffy Bear book in the America Pavilion. So I uh, hope you had fun tonight. And to close it off, we are going to do, uh, we've got to play a song from the one and only Peter Alden Kingdom Classic CD, now available to download online at CD Baby and I believe iTunes, or just call me. I'll bring it to the next event if I see you in person. Um, so let's do it. Let's sing it out. I don't know what song to put on. We'll see what comes up. Thank y'all for being here. Hey, Carol, love you. Thank you for being here. Not that one. Let's do a different one.
Let's do, um, let's see. Let's do this one. I need this one tonight. All right, let's do this one. You guys are gonna sing with me, right? something inspires me to keep dreaming every day i'm so glad you guys have the cd pam has the cd she says it's beautiful marcia has it and they play it all the time nicholas loves it oh i love hearing that you guys enjoy it and tell your friends we have um a lot more of these in stock for just about anybody you know and love birthday gifts anything like that this will make a fantastic gift because it is a special spin on all these disney songs because they do have the magical peter alden touch and spin to them so i want to thank you again so much from the bottom of my heart for taking the time out to be with me here tonight live um to participate in the conversation uh, Disney Ways on Facebook Live. We will be back on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I look forward to hearing, hearing from you and seeing you then. Make sure to share the video. And you guys have a magical, magical evening. We'll talk to you real soon. Thanks.